Hi YouTubers and makeup lovers. This is She's Lauren Ashley back for another tutorial Tuesday. This week I want to cover some new products that I got and uh, this week they are uh, metallic lip lipsticks, lip glosses. Um, I um, recently got the NYX Cosmic Metals collection. It's pretty new and I um, I read some good things about it. I read some good feedback and um, I'm really enjoying the metallic lip trend right now. Um, so I wanted to test out some more colors and see how they work out and check out the quality and share that with you guys as a review as well. Um, so it's going to be, it, this week is going to be a review and not a tutorial. I only got three of the NYX Cosmic Metal lip colors. Um, it, they're lip creams and um, I got three colors and The ones that I got are very different, so we've got some variety here. I couldn't, they're very, the price, again, NYX is so awesome. Their prices are so good and so um, competitive. It may, it's just awesome. So I, uh, I got a few, but I couldn't get all of them, maybe another time. Um, I got a fus Fuchsia Fusion. Is the top one here the pink I haven't gotten a hot pink in a while and I thought it'd be fun to try it as a metallic shade and then the next color is called celestial star and it looks like a periwinkle blue it looks really pretty and then the last color I'm going to demonstrate and review is NYX metals lip cream in galactic so it's a very it's a shimmery metallic grayish black shade which I was really looking for and I'm looking forward to trying and I hope that it's different than things that I already have and last nicely so what I'm gonna do um, each color at a time I know sometimes formulas can be different with different colors by the same brand for whatever reason. Um, so I am going to first, with each of these, I'm going to start off uh, lining my lips. Uh, I love clear lip liner. I find it's the easiest to use and I always use lip liner with lipsticks and lip stains, etc. Anything that could bleed uh, will bleed. In my experience and that's just not a good look so uh, I I really I'm not I find it tricky to use uh, a colored lip liner uh, if I was gonna try something like an ombre lip something like that then I would do it you don't have to be at you can be a little more messy with that and as far as shading your lips but um, I love clear lip liner because it's versatile and you can keep it in your purse with you always and you don't have to worry, worry about having a matching color and you don't have to worry about going outside the lines you can draw your lips as big as you want them to be for the for whatever you're doing and you don't have to worry about if you've kind of made them too big you've drawn them too extreme that kind of thing um, I have a pretty steady hand and I find it hard to do so I still prefer a clear liner and uh, what I'm gonna use today is Mary Kay's Mary Kay's lip liner clear liner they don't make this product in clear anymore and it breaks my heart so if you're a Mary Kay lover uh, I am. Uh, ask your consultant, your director, to harass Mary Kay to start making clear lip liner again. They make a nude now, which I haven't used, and I will sometime soon. And I'm sure it's great, but it's not the same as having a clear. Clear is just the bomb. So, Mary Kay, please bring black, bring back the clear lip liner. It is great. Um, 
And so yeah, that, that's that's that. I'm gonna lip lip line line my lips first before each color to get the most accurate result. See, it's so easy. Hope they're bringing back the clear. Um, okay, so this is NYX Metals, Cosmic Metals, Fu Fuchsia Fusion. <laughs> so let's do it. I've never used any of these before, by the way. I'm trying to get It is bright, hot, fuchsia pink. And like I said, pinks aren't my favorite. <laughs> I didn't say that already. But um, like I said, I hadn't gotten a pink lip color in a while. Uh, so that is why one of the reasons why I chose this color. And I think it's really pretty. Do I have any on my teeth? Okay. So, with one swipe, I managed to get a really nice amount of color on my lips in the shade. And I think it's really pretty. And I, it's great for spring and summer. It's, it's opaque. And it has a little bit of sparkles in it, but it's not, and it does have like a metallic tone to it, but it's not super gaudy, if that makes sense. I didn't know if it was going to have like glitter chunks in it. And... Mm. There it goes on your teeth. So definitely do a blotting with this. Um, it feels like a gloss. So be careful. Keep an eye on your teeth with this. And, but it feels nice. It feels light. It doesn't feel sticky. It doesn't, it, it feels really nice on your lips. It feels moisturizing. And it's a beautiful color. It's a nice medium bright shade of hot pink fuchsia. So I would say two thumbs up for this. Um, so I am, I usually take off my lip stains with uh, an eye makeup remover. I My favorite eye makeup remover is Mary Kay oil free eye makeup remover. So I, since this isn't so dry, I'll probably wipe it off with a paper towel. It seems like it'll come off pretty easily, but not so much where you feel like your uh, lip gloss or lipstick is going to swipe away really easily. Um, but it also, it seems like it will wear off in a way that is um, as flattering as could be. So I am going to take this off and I'm going to try the next color. So I took off uh, Fuchsia Fusion and next I am going to try uh, the NYX Cosmic Metals in Celestial Star. It's it, from the 
packaging it looks like it's a periwinkle blue shade and it looks beautiful so I'm excited to try it and um, I've and again, first, uh, make sure to line your lips because with these, it, they're definitely a creamier um, texture and they're definitely more of a wet, moisturizing quality of product. So it will be prone to feathering. Okay, this is it. Sorry, I just don't want it on my teeth. I can tell it will easily transfer. Um, this formula feels he heavier and I can already tell that it's much more metallic than the fuchsia color. Uh, it is, it isn't sticky and it doesn't feel heavy. Uh, it goes great with a lip, sorry, a lip liner, and it's definitely a true metallic. It has a really nice sheen to it. And what's cool about the metallics is they're dark, but they're light in a way too because of the way that they reflect. So it's a good way for people who aren't prone to wanting to wear dark colors but are intrigued by them to kind of dip the toe dip your toe in the water and try a metallic dark color to see if you like it and to see if it suits you so I think the color is beautiful and it's really deep and um the shade is great if you like blue lipstick um but it definitely feels moisturizing and I think it's a beautiful color. So this one I give a two thumbs up to. I'm excited to have a new blue. So I am going, see look it transfers on your teeth really easily. So be careful of that. Definitely do like get like a straw and like sip something demurely like an iced coffee sip it from a straw and get that inner lip kind of cleaned off so you're not smiling proudly with your metallic hot lipstick on looking like a fool okay so I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna try the last color and let you know how it is so I took off um, the cosmic blue shade and I'm ready to do the last color of reviewing uh, some of the NYX cosmic metal uh, lip creams and so far they're definitely beautiful metallics I am about to try uh, galactic and it is like a it looks like a shimmery mix between like a sparkly black shade so I know the Kylie Jenner black sparkly metallic lipstick was a huge craze so this could be a really inexpensive uh, substitute for that because so far as I've seen it's been sold out and you have to get it for a jacked up price online from somebody who's selling it to make extra money. So uh, these actually I meant to comment uh, to mention that NYX lip, metal, lip metals are seven dollars and 49 cents so as always NYX has unbeatable prices for the quality of uh, cosmetics that they do uh, so again make sure to you line your lips because these lip creams are definitely transferable they're not a dry um, formula so make sure that you don't have feathering and uh, let's see how this looks.
So, I really, really like this. It feels super moisturizing, but again, with the super moisturizing comes a transferable. So, there's kind of weighing your preferences with that. Um, but the color is awesome. It's definitely a steel shade. And it's really nicely metallic with even coverage. It's definitely buildable. And it feels lightweight and moisturizing. I can tell that it does feather, so keep it in mind. But if you're looking for a gunmetal mix gray black with a sheen, a metallic sheen to it, it doesn't have glitter pieces. None of these shades have. The fuchsia had a little bit of like a shimmer quality to it where it looked like it had little tiny, tiny pieces um, of glitter, but it wasn't a glitter. Uh, it was more, it was a, more of a metal, true to metal. Uh, this is a, I would call this color gun metal. And um, I think it's lovely. It matches my shirt and my eyeliner. Um, so I would say if you're interested, interested in, in this line, the NYX Cosmic Metals, they're $7.49 and they are awesome. So let me know what you think. If you've tried them, uh, what are your favorite colors and what metallic lip lines have you tried so far? And um, what do you think of the metallic lip trend? It's very 90s, and uh, but it's fun, and I think it's great for the summer and the festival season. So I'd love to hear from you, as always. Please leave comments below or any questions about cosmetics, um, or if you have requests on uh, any tutorials you'd like me to do, uh, or any products you'd like me to review. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up below leave a thumbs up. And um, if you like, if you've seen any of my other videos or you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Hit the red subscribe button below and subscribe to my channel. This is She's Lauren Ashley and every Tuesday I do some sort of makeup tutorial or review. And I also do lifestyle, glamour and style related video and travel videos as well. So you can stay tuned for those as well throughout the week, but Tuesdays are Tutorial Tuesday, hashtag Tutorial Tuesday. And I hope to hear from you and I hope to see you next time for another Tutorial Tuesday with me at She's Lauren Ashley, and you can follow me on Twitter, on um, Instagram, and Pinterest at She's Lauren Ashley, um, and I'll have the handles here, you can see them, and um, stay tuned, and thank you for watching, um, see you later, and have fun, look, it gets on your teeth, um, so have fun, enjoy your Glamour and let me know your experiences. See ya. See you next tutorial Tuesday. Thanks for watching. So I wanted to do a last closing comment in my review of the NYX Cosmic Metals. Um, I've worn this shade for a few hours now and I just wanted to comment on the lasting quality of it. Um, speaking for this shade in Galactic, I'm in natural light now, but as you can see, it is, I've had something to eat and to drink, and after a few hours, it definitely wears off, um, so just, so as, 
it is moisturizing. It also comes off and wears off a bit easier as well. So it's one of those thing, pros and cons, what's more important to you. Um, but I think it wears off in a pretty flattering way. This is only one application and this is how it wore off after some food and drink. Um, so it's not bad and um, I would say still get it and I still like it and um, I'd recommend it. So I hope this is helpful and helps you in your shopping decisions and your beauty decisions and um, let me know what you think uh, and thanks again for watching this week for Tutorial Tuesday, my review of NYX Cosmic Metals and um, stay tuned for uh, every week for Tutorial Tuesday and follow me on social media. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my videos and like this video obviously if you enjoyed this video. Okay, see you later!